Good afternoon, everyone. It's Monday, January 28th, and we are live in Liberty. If you don't hear your event today and want to hear your future events in our weekly update, you have three different ways to get that information to us. You can email tourism at libertycounty.org. You can upload the event yourself to our website under the calendar tab, or you can call our office at 912-368-4445. We do have some special guests with us today, and I'm going to introduce them in just a little while. So I'm going to start you off for today, Monday the 28th. The Huntsville Live Oak Public Library has family movie movie night uh, with The Incredibles 2. All ages are welcome. The movie begins at 5.30 p.m. UMA general meeting, let's, go to, let's get to work at New Day Community Church at 6.30 p.m. Tuesday, January 29th, free enrollment and renewal assistance for Medicaid and Peach Care for Kids, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at United Way of Coastal Empire. Mobile Food Pantry at the Liberty County Performing Arts Center at 11 a.m. Volunteers are needed 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Call 912-368-4282 for more information. WorkSource Coastal, which is Hinesville's Job Center, has Interview Skills and Body Language Basics Workshop at 9 a.m. The Hinesville Live Oak Public Library has story time for ages 0 to 5, 9.30 a.m. and 11 a.m. And Community Power Yoga at 6.40 p.m. How to Get Published Workshop with Deborah and Meredith Brown is from 3 to 5 p.m. You need to call our office, 912-368-4445 to RSVP. The Midway Riceboro Library has a Mario Kart tournament for ages 5 and up at 4 p.m. There's a free lecture to reset your metabolism at the Farmer's Natural Food at 7 p.m. Wednesday, January 30th, Bradwell Institute Basketball versus Richmond Hill High at Liberty County High School. Ninth Boys starts at 4.30 p.m. Midway Riceboro Library, Open Computer Lab at 5 p.m., and the VFW has their weekly steak night, and that's VFW Post 6602, and that starts at 5.30. So I'm going to introduce my new friends. They're from the Tri-County Domestic Violence Shelter, and they're here today to talk about their, their upcoming event, Love Shouldn't Hurt. So ladies, would you like to introduce yourselves? My name is Melanie Griffin. I'm the case manager and the family violence assessor um, from Tri-County Protective Agency. Um, I'm Cynthia Burt, I'm a legal advocate, and I do the protective orders for trying to kind of protect me to see. Okay, and so your event, Love Shouldn't Hurt, what is, what is the goal of that? The goal is to bring some revenue into the shelter to um, assist with, you know, regular client assistance, you know, with our clients, um, with the victims of domestic violence. Um, this event will take place on February the 6th at 8.30 a.m., uh, it will be a breakfast, and um, the fundraiser, there will be $25 uh, charge for the plates. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how do you sign up for that? Is that like you walk in, or do you need to call ahead of time? No, what we've been doing, we've been uh, sending out uh, letters to different agency, partner agency, and people in the community that have supported the shelter for so many years. Um, it can be people who have supported them financially. It could be people, uh, community leaders, or people in the community, citizens, that have also donated or came out, volunteered for our shelter, that, that type. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, is there anything else anybody needs to know as far as the Tri-County Shelter or for the event? Okay. I'm just going to let everyone know the shelter is a domestic violence shelter. We cover Liberty Long, Bryan, Tattnall, and Evans counties. Um, a lot of people still are not aware that there is a shelter in these counties. But you are more than welcome to call our crisis line. That's 912-368-9200. Uh, we'll be more than welcome to talk to you. Any staff that answers that phone are professional and trained to um, answer any questions or concerns that a victim may have. Okay. Well, thank you ladies so much for thank joining you. us. Thank you for having us. We, we hope you guys really, really enjoyed being here. Yes, okay. Absolutely. Well, we loved having you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. All right, so Thursday, January 31st, we have Parent to Parent Supporting Parent Program at Army Community Service Building number 87 on Fort Stewart, 8 a.m. For more information, you can call 912-767-0259. The Midway Riceboro Library has story time for ages 5 and up at 4 p.m. And they have the Kingdom Hearts 3 release party ages 16 and up at 6 p.m. WorkSource Coastal Hinesville Job Center has job search and goal setting workshop at 2 p.m. The Liberty County School System Youth Mental Health Fair for parents of 4th to 12th graders, 12th 
12th grade students is going to be at the Board of Education at 5.30 p.m. and celebrating Black History Month at St. James Community Church at 7.30 p.m. Friday, February 1st, there's a Spark event designed for military spouses at Club Stewart. For more information and art and to RSVP, um, you can log on to the Stuart Hunter MWR website. The Hinesville Live Oak Public Library, baby play date ages 0 to 3 at 10.30 a.m. Bradwell Institute Basketball versus Richmond Hill High at Richmond Hill High School. JV Girls, 3.30 p.m. JV Boys, 5 p.m. Varsity Girls at 6.30 p.m. And Varsity Boys at 8 p.m. Celebrating Black History Month again at St. James Community Church at 7.30 as well. Saturday, February 2nd, the Liberty County Monthly 5K Fun Run and Walk at James Brown Park. Free registration is at 8 a.m. and events start at 8.30 a.m. For more information, you can call Donald Lovett at 912-312-0669 or Ron Elliott at 912-414-1216. The Warrior Walk Facelift Part 2 is at 9 a.m. at Warriors Walk on Fort Stewart. Bradwell Institute versus Liberty County High Basketball Games, which are, is going to be senior night at the Liberty County High School. JV Girls at 3.30 p.m., JV Boys at 5 p.m., Varsity Girls at 6.30 p.m. and Varsity Boys at 8 p.m. Sunday, February 3rd, the Ladies Association presents Super Bowl Scramble at Cherokee Rose Country Club, 10.30 a.m. Call 912-876-5503 to sign up or for more information. There's a billiards tournament at Fangs Island from 1 to 5 p.m. The I Hate Tom Brady Super Bowl Party number 2 at Doodles Billiards starts at 3 p.m. And Club Stewart has a Super Bowl party at 6 p.m. Our recurring events include Meals for the Homeless in Hinesville, Liberty County Manor House, Monday through Friday from 4 to 6 p.m., Westside Baptist Church, Saturdays from 5 to 7 p.m., Cathedral of Praise, Sundays from 8.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m., and also serving lunch on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. WorkSource Coastal has free youth GED classes Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., Orientation Workshop is offered Tuesdays 3 to 4 p.m. and Thursdays 9 to 10 a.m. and free adult GED classes Monday through Thursday 6 to 9 p.m. The Hinesville Police Department has announced the 2019 Citizens Academy will take place every Tuesday evening February 19th through April 23rd. For more information, contact Star Corporal Kevin Remlard at 912-271-1221. The Liberty County Armed Services YMCA hosts group group wellness and aqua classes each day as well as a commitment to help 42-day weight loss and fitness challenge. For more details on classes, class schedules, or more information about the commitment to health challenge, check out our website at www.libertycounty.org or call the YMCA directly at 912-368-9622. Free income tax prep will be held at United Way Thursdays and Saturdays from February 2nd through March 16th, except for March 2nd. Hours for Thursdays is 3 to 7 p.m. and Saturdays 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Call 912-447-5577 for more information. Valentine's Day Portrait Special from Perfect Portraits is now through February 8th. For, for, for more information and to book your portrait session, call 912-306-5645. The Savannah Swim Team will have practice Monday through Friday evenings and Saturday mornings at the heated outdoor pool at the Liberty County Rec Department located in Midway. Free two-week trial for children ages 5 to 18. For more info, contact Coach Rob at area code 703-728-0434. As always, we hope you get up, get out, and explore Liberty.